Impromptu speaking has never been this easy. You have got to try this very simple method that will help you respond to any impromptu question that you will ever receive. Before I get into this formula, you know that a couple of weeks back I was talking about Mark Twain's quote about impromptu speaking. And he said that it takes three weeks for one to prepare a good impromptu speech. The reason why I shared this quotation is because even speeches, presentations, conversations that are impromptu do require a certain level of preparation. And you mastering this formula is one way that will help you get into making your mind ace any impromptu question that will be delivered to you. Remember to like and share this video if you enjoy watching this content because this gives me the motivation to create more videos such as this one. Now back to our communication secret for this week. The method that you can utilize to respond to impromptu questions is referred to as the PREP method. P -R -A E P. The P stands for the point. In responding to an impromptu question, the first thing that you have to do is make your point by directly responding to the question. For example, let's say you're in a meeting and then somebody asks why management should prioritize this project that you are proposing to the team. Your point would be something like, I do believe that we should prioritize this particular project because, now that is your reason, because it provides the highest growth potential for our company in this upcoming quarter. And this could be something like the 20% increase that you will have in terms of sales, the market opportunities that are available in a specific target group that the company hasn't explored. All those are reasons that you can give to back your point. Now, remember, I'm just giving you an example. You may need to tailor this to your particular field or the type of conversation or presentation that you are actually involved in. You now have to move into the third part of your impromptu response, which is the example. Do you have an example or do you have a story that can justify your proposition? You could follow this up with perhaps examples of competitors that are in the same industry as you that are investing in a particular project or investing in a particular solution and how these companies are achieving their targets in terms of growth. Remember, your example could be a story or it could be information or research that really justifies your reasoning. And then close it off by stating your point one last time and respond to the question. Having said that, I do feel that by us investing our resources into this project will lead into our company really achieving its goals for this quarter. So you've got your point, you've got your reason behind the point that you have delivered, the example that justifies your point. This could be a story or any background information that justifies your reasoning and then you get back to the point. This is one formula that will really enhance your skills in responding to impromptu speaking situations. Remember, practice makes improvement. So you have to keep trying experimenting with this formula on different scenarios that you experience in your day to day. Do not forget that I do have a newsletter that goes out every month, the Communication Secrets newsletter. Subscribe so you can receive resources that will help you in your presentation skills. Simply head over to www.patiencechisanga.com, head over to the newsletter tab, fill in your details, 
get into your email, confirm your email address. Remember to go through the double opt-in process because a number of you did the first process but did not complete that process and perhaps that is the reason why you haven't received the newsletter yet. So ensure that you go through the double opt-in process. That's it for my speaker secret for this week.